everyone Ingrid here from Ingrid Inspirations oh my goodness guys I've got a lot to show you today and talk about and tell you about and but first of all thank you so much for joining me here if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much and if you are new here welcome to our friends here we're all yarny friends I say subscribers yes we do subscribe to channels but I would like I like to call you my friends my yarny friends my yarny family thank you so much for spending some time with me so I think I should get right into it because there's quite a few things that I need to show you I want to show you and um, I it's been quite a while since my last video so let's dive right into it first of all what I've got on here this is a poncho by Crystal back uh, everything that I talk about channels that I mention I will link down below um, Fiber Floozy Jill and Daniel from Paul Ply Yarn they have a challenge at the moment and it's the bod along and there you have to make something of uh, bag of day crystals uh, patterns um, but I will link down, um, down below I will link Jill and Daniel's channels they explain it much better than me but it what it boils down to is you make a uh, something of uh, bag of days patterns and then you submit your make a picture to Jill or to Daniel and then they're going to have a draw but it's just fun also making crystals patterns her patterns are so easy to follow and understand um, and she really makes you feel that you can crochet everything anything and everything i'm a newbie to crochet um what is it now about two years almost that i've been uh, you know in the in the past i have crocheted the odd just a scarf a straight thing or knit a straight thing so i don't really call that knitting or crocheting really um it's about two years now that i am really crocheting and this year I've started knitting. Lots to learn still, but I love it. Okay, so this is a poncho that I made of um, Crystal Baby Day. And I thought, well, let me put it on that you can see. It's a lovely mug. It's a lovely mug. And then I made uh, also something else that I made. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> something else that I made for this challenge for the bottle long um where is it now just bear with me i've got such a lot of things i made one of her uh, little blankets here you can see and silly me silly me i didn't keep my um the band that went around the cake but this is called color crush it's a, a, a yarn local to us and I used this to make a blanket it's a it's a baby blanket so this is my two things that I'm going to um, send Jill or Daniel I'm thinking of sending a third thingy but that is still in the make if I'm correct now i think the challenge is till end of august but i will put everything down below in the description box if you want to have a read i am busy with a crystal thingy a bag of day pattern it's her latest hat and i am busy doing that so i'm between um finished objects and uh, whoops and so Please bear with me, guys. Um, my hat is over here. I am busy with this. 
this is her latest hat so it's front bows double crochets and I'm here now where you do rows of a double crochet in the front loop and then you're going to go over here um, at the bottom you're going to go back to the front post double crochets but this is as far as my uh, body long hat is going and this is the yarn I'm using um, this is also now this was charity also one of our uh, local yarns here and um, this was actually part of my um, I really don't like to call it scrap yarn it's not scrap it's just um, too little to do a big thing and too much to you know just put it aside so um, yes I'm busy with that oh and and I'm doing it with a 5.5 um, crochet hook and those of you that know me like know that I like to use a small hook and thin yarn so I am um, challenging myself with bigger yarn and bigger hooks <laughs> this was also made made with a bigger bigger yarn and bigger hook um, but I need to challenge myself I cannot just use tiny yarn and tiny hooks all the time and then I did this quite a while back we had a cowl a crochet along for those that's not sure what the, a cowl means um, from it's Ophelia Talks Crochet her channel name her name is Anya and we ha had to make um, that was a mystery cowl oh and it was made in one of my yarn that I am oh I'm in love with Stylecraft uh, we do get it here in South Africa not much um, but not not really I I bought my yarn pack from her she sells her yarn packs as well um, and she will also uh, be in the description box down below but we made a mystery cow so we were doing we got our yarn packs most beautiful colors and we started crocheting and we crocheted and we crocheted it's all tiny little blocks and blocks and blocks and I'll show you it's a bit big to show on camera in one go but it turns out we were making a picnic blanket and this picnic blanket is actually a blanket in a bag I'll show you just now let me just get to get to the middle part um, oh am I can you see there we go it's it's a very it's big you know it I am struggling to show it to you just like this um, and this part here this year is the bag and the bag is crocheted to the blanket here we go there's the canvas the webbing for the the handle of the bag and then you fold this whole blanket you fold into this here there's the pocket and then you've got a blanket in a bag how clever is that and this was oh it was lovely making this and this colors i am in love with the colors that Anya put together here I mean just look at that again isn't that just gorgeous and this square here this one let me just get it to you like this oh it's difficult working with such a big that little square there that is called the Ophelia square she designed her own little square and what did you like to make love it so then after this blanket I had some yarn left over and like I say I am totally in love with Stowcraft and I thought okay I want to make something else 
with my Starcraft, but what? Because there's not a lot left over. Uh, she worked it out perfectly with a bit to spare. And then I thought, okay, why don't I make also, it's well, the ends is still yeah, I'm busy with it, so you can call it a whip. Little Ophelia squares like that. I've crocheted them together. I made a big granny square at the back. And now, all I need to do, I need to line my bag. And I'm still thinking of, um, do I want to do canvas strap? Do I want to do a crow? There is yarn left over to do a strap. Do I put, want to put in a zipper? What do I want to do? So I am still contemplating. But this, yes, this is my Starcraft little project bag that I'm busy with. Okay, then, like I've told you guys in the beginning of the year, one of my challenges to myself this year is to do mosaic crochet. And I've ordered only two skeins, cakes of Ferris wheel, lime brand Ferris wheel cherry on top, um, with the shipping... Uh, the yarn was was not so expensive, but then with the shipping, oh, <laughs> I could only get two, two cakes. That is for my mosaic. I said that from the beginning, from the beginning of the year. I waited very long for those two Ferris cakes. I think it took something like five months to get you. Well, we all blame it on COVID, if I do say the word. So, but I don't want to touch that Ferris wheel until I am really having this mosaic crochet, you know, under the knee. So I went on to Tina. Now, Tina, I cannot pronounce her surname. She, I will link her down below. She, she's from Iceland, Icelandic Tina. <laughs> A surname I cannot pronounce. I'm so sorry, guys. But she, and when I saw this, I just knew, there we go. That is what I'm going to do. To practice, she takes a little zipper, and then with embroidery stitches, like chain stitches, she goes around the zipper on the material, and then she starts from the zipper in only one of the, um, chain stitch the little stitch only one loop she starts from there and then it grows down and going back to the star craft I had a few bits and bobs left I really used that star craft to its maximum and I had a zipper and I've done the Apache Tears. And there we go. There's my little bag. And as you can see there, you do the stitching and then you, then you start your crochet in one of the loops. And then you do a little bag. So, um, well, this is a, a long bag, <laughs> but I've done it with my Starcraft. So then I thought, okay, I want to practice some more. And I've got another zipper out. And this is just odd wool that I had, odd yarn. And I've practiced and I made another little bag. And my zipper, there we go, and voila, practicing, practice makes perfect. So, then, 
I want to do it's it's a diamond thingy and um, what is her name her channel name it's, it's Franny Franny Square but like I say I will link it down below she had a diamond is a girl's best friend pattern but it's flat to get you familiar familiar with mosaic and doing the diamond and and I thought okay what if I do like the little pouches here that's knitting or crocheting in the round if I do a project pack in the round but I want to use that diamond from Franny to do a project bag in. So also just odd yarn that I had left over. I started, I worked out the stitches to see if it's going to work. And there we go. I am busy doing a little round project bag in mosaic. And now I'm practicing this. And um, I'm quite chuffed with myself. Quite chuffed with myself. <laughs> if I have to say so. <laughs> okay. Then, another whip. I'm full of whips. Oh my goodness. I am new to knitting. And I wanted to knit my granddaughter. She's four years old. A little sweater. And then I saw this pattern. Um, it's from So Woolly Knits. Again, I will link it down below. I used Got to Poo Baby Star. This is the yarn that I'm using. This is the color. And it knits up. There we go. That's the way it's knitting up. There. So, I started and I've knitted everything. Now I must just block it and then I can, um, you know, sew it together. Uh, these, the, this is the two sleeves, yes? No, 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 I'm talking nonsense. This is the, uh, the front and the back. It's the same because it's raglan. So, there and then it goes down to the ribbing there we go so there's two I made obviously it's two of these and two sleeves are the same obviously and um, there we go I uh, I've knitted my granddaughter a little sweater and uh, rocking and putting it together and there we go so practice 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 on everything I just, I just want to do everything <laughs> oh my goodness then I've got something very special to tell and show you guys Beverly from Ditma Nittery she have make the bag challenge at the moment and you can knit or crochet a bag in wool it has to be pure wool and then you felt it now, I've never felt it before in my life and of course I jumped both feet in I want to do it so I went and I bought um, this is Ayamara, 100% Merino. This is the colorway. And according to Bev's pattern, I've knitted my bag to be felted. So there is my bag. It's, uh, um, I know it's going to be smaller when it's felted, but that's fine with me. Um, even if it's a little pouch and I've made an eye cord first time in my life that I make an eye cord 
and there's the little buttonhole so that's my little bag to be felted very nervous because I mean when you have wool you don't manhandle your wool and this is going to be manhandled because I have to agitate this in hot water with a bit of soap I'm very nervous about that but I didn't want to just knit a bag so let me just put that back there I went out and I bought some African Expressions Adore. This is um, Mohi and Merino. It's a lovely color. And I only brought the one. Uh, I've crocheted a bag. This one is much bigger. And there you can see all the colors that I've used. There's my strap, you turn it around, my flap, oopsie daisy, there we go, and again this is going, I think Bev said uh, when you felt this, it will shrink about, um, oh my nose is itching, um, a third, I think she said, but I first had to come show you guys that I made this, and my knitted bag and now I can felt it now that I've shown you and then when it's felted I will come show you again I am very excited but very nervous <coughs> <coughs> oh I'm so sorry <clears throat> okay now. and then back here um, those of you that know my channel will know this is Jen, my um, lovely assistant. And um, she is sporting a hat that I made. Um, let me bring her closer. I will tell you why I made it in green and maroon and purple. <laughs> so this is what Jen is sporting. This is a hat just made up by me um, with some bobble stitches and some front post double crochets, double crochet, single crochet. Um, Jennifer from Mrs. Hootie Tootin, she also have a, a, is it a challenge? Uh, she and her husband on the go at the moment and she picked some random colors they had a carrier bag full of crowns if if I'm not mistaken and she picked some colors and he dipped into the bag and picked some colors and then you had to decide which colors do you like the best and then you must make something with that colors and I decided I'm going to go with Miss Toot. Um, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. <laughs> but I just like to use, because I love purple. And the purple and the maroon and the green, and it was just randomly. I mean, they, they didn't go specific, okay, I want this and this and this color. It was just random out of a bag. And um, so, I had chosen his colors, and that is why Jenya is sporting my purple, maroon, and green hat. That is for Mrs. Sue Tutin's cha uh, channel and her and her husband's channels that I've got at the moment. Oh, okay. Then we can go over here. This is some more finished objects that I have. Um, also, um, Ophelia Talks Crochet, Anya, she have a beautiful shawl, um, the summer hay shawl, and I decided to take that pattern and use it as if I were to make a shawl, but make it a bit bigger, because I wanted to make a blanket. 
I think it's a beautiful pattern for a blanket as well. And I do uh, crocheting for the farmer's market and for donation. And this is a, a color cake on its own. And look at this vivid colors. It's orange and pink and purple. It is so bright. And um, but this is her pattern along with the scalloped edge there you can see and I think it's a oh it's a lovely pattern and a lovely make so I made the shawl into a blanket and I used her pattern she will be linked down below and then not this uh, um, current Nance Nicks knots the previous one I joined in but I haven't shown you guys my blanket that I've made and these were my colors of my blanket I've just put the little edge around as you can see and these were my colors of my blanket oh my goodness let me just turn it a bit there we go Oh, and I loved every Thursday. I couldn't wait to see which color we're going to, to get. <laughs> Pick a number and get a color. And um, we used uh, three, uh, I used three rows of um, half double crochet and in, in your um, main color. And mine, this is a um, ivory, small creamish white ivory. And then your color and this was also I've done this in half double crochet and then cross stitch over here the middle and then followed by another half double crochet followed by the main color again so yes this is another blanket that's finished and can go um, either to the farmers market or to my donation box this is a fun way to fill up the donation box and do things for the farmers market okay and then I'm not sure I can, oh I'm going to say it wrong now uh, Tiffany Hansen what is her channel's name oh my goodness gracious all the gray hair, you know I will link it down below I made a baby blanket as well and this is her pattern and it's so easy but it's a lovely make it's a lovely lovely make and I just used um, colors that I had here and enough for a, a small size baby blanket it's not a big blanket it's just baby blanket and then oh I'm there we go there's some more finished objects over here. This is actually a little set. A fiber spider pattern for a hat that I made. There's the, the colors. There we go. It's a V-stitch little hat. And um, I've just put a little tag there. A handmade. So I made the bigger one and then the little one it's like a little set so I've made that and this is another hat here we go oh my goodness showed you this way around it almost looks like camouflage <laughs> a camouflage pattern little hat this is also for, for the donation and I do um, the farmer's market as well. And there's another one. Just straightforward a beanie. Straightforward. And this year I surprised myself. I used chunky yarn and a big hook. 
<laughs> and then you can if you want I just made it single crochets if you want to turn the brim over so yes that is all my all my hats oh my hat <laughs> oh my hat hats oh get out and then goodness gracious you, I told you there's a lot. <laughs> oh, at the back here, there we go. That is um, that we had the um, one Cal collab um, from Bib, um, Gina Nettington Park and Lorraine Shadline Makes and Bob uh, Naughty Yarnies. And we had to crochet. Um, Jeannie, uh, what is Jeannie's uh, channel name off the hook? We had the American tank top to do, and that is my American tank top that I made. Then there's a little bit, only a little bit of acquisition. Um, I went to a yarn shop uh, called Yarn. And it's not Y A R N like we know yarn to be spelled. It's J double A R N yarn, and it's a shop here in South Africa. And I wanted to go buy some sock weight yarn. I wanted. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm back. <laughs> I was filming, and then my camera told me, or my phone told me. Your storage is full but I'm back to finish off I went to this yarn shop to buy some uh, wool I want to do a knitted shawl but that is um, in the future still but I went there this is the color you can see again my purples but there is some lovely um, beige and off-white and oh, it's just lovely and this is approximately 320 meters uh, through to a 3.75 needle or 3.5 millimeter hook and this is a 100% merino uh, sock or sport weight and I bought two and the lady caked them up for me I'm so happy about that I didn't have my Swift at the time when I bought these. I got my Swift just the other day. Also waited forever and another day. Um, it's just your normal umbrella blue little Swift. and But I got that eventually now. So I can take off my own yarn. But yes, I bought these. And I can't remember if I've shown you. I, on a previous trip. I also bought these um, super fine alpaca and merino. It's also a sock weight in this color. Um, and this is all towards my stash doing shawls, knitted shawls. Dream on Ingrid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lace shawls. I want to do that. <laughs> but then when I, while I was buying this, uh, this yarn here, yeah, they don't have a, a name. Sorry, I didn't say that. They only have a color. This is MS15 over here. And the other one is, mm, goodness gracious, let me see. M AMS03. This, this one here. But when I was buying that yarn, my eye... My little eye wandered around the shop. Oh, they've got beautiful things there. Um, they are online. I will link them down below as well if you want to go have a look. Um, you can buy from them. This is a 52% wool and 48% acrylic. Katya Galilea. Oh, guys, and look at this colors. Isn't that just gorgeous? And it's so soft. It is so soft. There is, a, and and then of course, I had to buy two. 
Just look at that. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what I want to make with it yet. But there's enough here. There is enough here. There is two, oh, two ingrid, 450 meters or 492 yards. And there's two. So I think I can make something substantial with this. But the colors, oh, I, I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't. Where's the other one now? There we go. Uh, oh, no, it's cute. You know, left is right and right is right, left. I absolutely am in love with these colors. Oh, so yes, I, I, I just had to. I mean, they were crying there in the corner. I had to buy them. <laughs> and then my last purchase. This, this is who? <gasps> A channel here on YouTube called Simply Dune and my friend's name is Lorna. She started off her own web shop. And we struggled to get higher, higher hooks here in South Africa. And she went ahead and she she's a supplier uh, what not supplier yeah, supplier. She's got her own web shop with higher higher um items the measuring tape scissors crochet hooks you can buy the set you can buy them single oh and she is she selling she's in uh body products as well that's also on there oh i'm going to link her down below her channel and the web shop Go have a look. It's beautiful, beautiful stitch markers. Mm, it's just lovely. So, I bought myself this set. Over the moon isn't the word. Comes in this beautiful roll-up uh, pouch. And over here, you open it like this. And when you roll it open, let me just get it like this. You roll it like that. You tip this here, and there you've got all your higher, higher hooks. From here, do the thick acrylic ones. And right here in the back, let me just get one out for you. Um, they are so teeny tiny, so tiny. The little tiny steel hooks for um, thread when you crochet with thread, which I love to do to my own detriment, you know. It's hard on the eyes, but Ingrid wants to do it. I'm, I'm going to show it to you on the black of the um, touch. It's so tiny you can hardly see it. So, and this is a point oh, a point nine oh six oh nine oh nine oh sorry <laughs> look there <laughs> it's very tiny and um they've got all the tiny sizes here at the back and um from a let me just look here it's a two millimeter and the uh, acrylic yeah oh i think this is a 15 a 12 and a 15 the acrylic the metal goes to uh, is it aluminium goes to a 10 but yes my higher higher complete crochet set um will never be in need of a hook again i've got everything here and this higher higher to me personally the first time that i've crocheted with a higher higher i just fell in love with it i'm a pencil gripper and the the it's the the finishing of the higher higher is so slick um your your yarn and the hook is just in perfect harmony 
and it glides through the yarn like a hot knife through butter. I am in love with my higher higher. So the next step, of course, is building on a few higher higher knitting needles. But I I will do the circular needles, um, you know, the tips with the cords. And um, I know they've got a huge range of higher higher knitting needles. Um, but I will select. You know, you all you all always have your select few that you go to, and um, with a different length of of cords, then, and then eventually, if they do have the Tunisian hooks, because that is also something that I want to get into. It's Tunisian. Really want to do that. Okay, guys, now I have talked your ear off, <laughs> but for the moment, this is all I have. And um, I, well, I, I really do want to uh, do a video on my stitch markers as well. But that has to be a separate video. Um, I think it's going to be too much too long if I do the stitch markers in the same video as this one. And um, I will take you on a little process of, again, how I make them. Um, you know, if I must really tell you how I make my my beads, <laughs> I I don't follow a a recipe or a I've I watched a lot of videos on bead making, and then I experiment with lots of different things to make it my own. Um, for instance, I will use glass paint. To create paper, a pattern on paper, I will, um, I use polymer clay lately. I'm into polymer clay as well for my stitch markers. And with my paper beads, there is such a lot of tutorials out there. Beautiful tutorials. Uh, tutorials that I've learned from. But I don't follow them because I make my beads my own. I do... I will think, what if I put this and this together? What will happen? And then I do it. And it works. And then I use it. And then I make beads. <laughs> so, um, and I make my beads for stitch markers. And I make my beads for bracelets. Or something around your neck. Or earrings. Oh, there is a gazillion um, different things that you can do with your own beads. And uh, so I do want to do uh, a video on my beads as well. But that, like I said, that will be in a separate video. And I will take you through some of the processes that I do. But it is so unconventional. <laughs> I, I make it my own. I really make it my own. And um, But that is for the next time. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me. And... Um, joining me i hope you had fun and um, to, like i said in the beginning everyone returning thank you so much and to everyone that's new here thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and decided to join our group of friends here our yarny friends and uh, we don't only do yarn here when the weather is better i'll take you out on an outing again it's now winter it's cold which I love, as you know. Um, and when my health is up to it, I want to take you on more outings. But now with COVID, oh, you know the story. But yes, we do yarn here, knitting and crochet, and oh, a little bit of everything, and a little bit of inspiration, and just talking, and sharing love, and... Um, Please tell me how you are. Um, I'm still to do a live video. I know. I know. I must do a live. Not a live video. A live. <laughs> um, to just chat with you guys. But in the meanwhile, in my comments, tell me how you are. What are you busy with? What do you like doing the most? Tell me a bit about yourself. I love learning more about you. Thank you so much. And I see we are 
slowly getting up to 400 and then we can have another giveaway mm. <laughs> I'm on 384 cannot believe it I'm well chuffed thank you so much my word so another milestone 400 we do another giveaway but for now I'm going to leave you take care of yourself and each other be kind um, like Granny D will say um, um, be nice or be kind don't be ugly and um, take care of each other and um, just say thank you for all our blessings we are so um, with this COVID business you know we moan and we moan and we moan and it's health and it's this and it's that but we have so much to be thankful for and um, I'm thanking you for being in my life thank you so much love you guys next time bye